Well, hi to my YouTube subscribers. Well, for the past year, I'd been staying at Patong Beach in Phuket. I was paying a very reasonable monthly rent for a hotel room about a five-minute walk from the beach and close to the Patong Language School where I'd been taking classes. Now, Patong has a beautiful beach, great restaurants, lots of entertainment, and excellent shopping. And of course, there are lots of tourists. Now, last month, I decided to try living in Bangkok, and I found a beautiful two-bedroom condo for rent right at the Victory Monument BTS station. And now that I've been here for about a month, I can report that I'm quite happy here. The building, IDO Q Victory, is only two years old. The apartment I rented had never been lived in, and it came furnished. It's 50 square meters, and I pay for water and electricity. Now, the view is spectacular. There's a TV, washer dryer, stove, microwave, and refrigerator. No oven, of course, as this is Thailand. The air conditioning is zoned per room. Now, there's a well-equipped fitness center on the top floor and a large office space where you can work on your laptop while looking out over the city. On the floor below is an infinity swimming pool that's great for laps and a whirlpool. It does feel a bit like staying at a nice hotel. Now, the building management often provides free juice and organic vegetables in the lobby. The building security is excellent. Many of the residents are students at the nearby medical school. There are other foreigners, but I'd say that they're generally people who are here in Thailand on work assignments rather than retirees like me. Now, walking outside, you're right at the steps to the Victory Monument station of the BTS. Now, just to the left is the Century Mall, which has a Topps supermarket, restaurants, and shops. In the front of the mall is a food market that opens in the early afternoon. Now, if you walk to the right, there's a 7-Eleven, a headquarters for the Girl Guides, a food market, and a clothing market. Walking a bit further, you'll reach the Center One Mall and, across the street, the Victory Hub Mall. So, lots of shopping within a five-minute walk of the apartment. Now, Victory itself is a hub for buses. Buses going south leave from the bus stops on the east side of the monument. Buses going north leave from the west side of the monument. The A2 goes every 20 minutes to Don Muang Airport. And to get to Savanapum Airport, take the BTS one stop south to Payatai and take the airport line to the airport. There are also vans that go to a variety of locations. And there are plenty of restaurants in the area with many in the malls. Now, I'm a vegetarian. There are not many vegetarian restaurants in the area, but there's a huge vegetarian restaurant and grocery store near Chattachuk Market. I've been stocking up on groceries there. And one advantage of living here is that it's easy to travel to the airports, train stations, and bus stations. So travel to other parts of Thailand is quite easy. Now also near the apartment, is Santipap Park. This park has a walking, running track, a nice lake, gardens, group exercise in the evenings, and exercise equipment. It's a popular spot. There are a number of large hospitals located at Victory, and my dentist is just a 10-minute walk at Payatai. The downside is that there's no beach, but the pool, gym, and whirlpool make it seem as if I'm living at a resort. It's a very convenient place to live. And my plan is, while I'm here, I'll be checking out other places to live in Thailand. And if you have any suggestions, please put them in the comments. All right, see you next time.